Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that one. Oh, I'm feeling so nostalgic recently. I wonder why. All oh, the good old days. Oh, hi. Oh, look at the 90s. Oh, I looked so young. What happened? Oh, in the 80s. Look at that hair. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh the 70s. I look really peaceful there, huh? And my baby picture, 1970. Oh, oh. I wonder why I'm feeling so nostalgic. It must be Retro Week on Smokey Steve and Mark! Welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh, yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Oh, it's nice to see you, and welcome to Retro Week, y'all. Oh, oh, we're gonna have so much fun. We are all week long. All of our content, all of our videos is going to have something retro, something vintage in it. We have recipes and, and DIYs and, you know, the interesting facts and the did you knows. We got a giveaway going on. Oh, yes. And it all starts right now with Mondays with Mark and 3D. <laughs> uh, okay, so why 3D, right? Well, I thought we would take a trip back to the 1950s. That's when um, 3D movies really have their heyday right and not more retro than that <laughs> and um but i always loved okay so take a little trip back memory down memory lane here okay when i was a kid in my uh, my hometown we had a little um it was like a community center and um every saturday early uh evening it was like six o'clock every single saturday they would show some old black and white movies like Godzilla and usually they were like spooky movies or something like that you know and um, a lot of times they were in 3D with the 3D glasses and it was a wonderful community thing that um, they did I don't even know if they do that anymore you know um, and it was just like a, a community center with a room and a little stage there and they set up a big screen and they would they would run these old movies and all the the, the, the neighborhood kids would come and we would sit there and watch and they would have popcorn and stuff and it was free and it was so much fun and it's one of those memories from my childhood that I don't know I just just really really love so I was I was just I don't know I was really excited to do a, like a 3d themed video especially for retro week right so Oh, yes. When you see the little 3D glasses icon there, when you see that in the video, pop your glasses on to experience Mondays with Mark in 3D. <laughs> what? You don't have 3D glasses? I got you covered.
pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and pretty easy to do, too, don't you think? Oh my gosh. I made mine in orange. I think I'll make Steven a pair in red or yellow or something. I don't know. A lot of fun, though. <laughs> oh, wow. What memories that brings back. So, yeah, like I said earlier, um, every time you see the little uh, 3D glasses icon, pop your 3D glasses on. And we have some 3D action going on. Now, disclaimer here. I'm not a professional editor at all. And, you know, I mean, it's not going to be like watching a 3D movie in a movie house or anything like that, you know. But I did test it out. It looks pretty cool. It really does. I was able to figure out how to turn, you know, images into uh, anaglyph uh, 3D images to see with the glasses. So it should be fun and, you know, experiment. We'll see how it turns out. But I, I think it's going to look kind of cool. So, and, um, and anyway, speaking of 3D, gosh, I had no idea that it has such a long history. I literally thought, like, 3D, like the movie, it was the 50s is what I had always thought that's where it started. And well, it turns out that that's not the case. It can be traced all the way back to the 1800s. Here, check this out. The 1950s were a prosperous time for the American economy and culture. From the baby boom to Hollywood stars, new inventions, and the 3D trend, the 50s are still coveted today for their vintage yet stylish trends. The 1950s saw a 3D craze where movies, images, and even comic books were presented in 3D depth. Oh, how cool, huh? However, people's fascination with the anaglyph 3D image can be traced all the way back to the 1800s. Anaglyph drawings are made with a two-color printing process or cameras with two tinted lenses, one red and one blue, and a two-color viewer consisting of special glasses with relevant colored lenses. Your left eye looks through a red lens that filters out the red lines on the picture, so it only sees the blue lines on the picture. Simultaneously, your right eye looks through a blue lens that filters out the blue lines. Your brain combines the two pictures into one image, giving the illusion of depth. As early as 1903, movie houses were experimenting with the 3D movie, like the arrival of the train. Now, this was aimed at making this train look like it was coming right out of the movie screen right at you. Oh, now this was revolutionary for the movie industry at the time, and it was all aimed at making the movie-going experience much more immersive and realistic. The golden age of 3D started in 1952 with the movie Buona Devil. It set the industry standard for 3D movies and soon 3D glasses were being sold as an amazing new technology. 3D movies were such a hit in the 1950s, comic books even started printing in 3D. Well, thankfully, all is not lost. The Digital Comic Museum is one of the best sites to view and to download digitalized 3D comics from the 1950s. Now, to see a fine example of an anaglyph 3D movie, this is the YouTube trailer for Creature from the Black Lagoon, a 1954 black and white 3D monster movie starring Richard Carlson and one of my personal favorites. Now, we haven't even touched on the evolution of 3D, and it certainly has come a long way. Stereoscopes became popular in America in the 1800s by taking two photographs at once and offsetting them by a small distance relative to the distance your eyes are apart, and then viewing them with the stereograph, we get the illusion of depth, or what later became known as 3D in the 1950s. Today's Viewmaster and Google Cardboard owe their origin to the old-fashioned stereograph. So, are you old enough to remember the Coronet 3D camera? 
I had one. I did, I did. It was a low cost camera designed to take black and white 3D photographs, which could be viewed with a 3D viewer. Ah, it was pretty, pretty cool and a huge trend too. Well, I'll tell you, 3D movies could make a huge comeback. I mean, the technology has come a long way. In fact, the new movie, Avatar Way of the Water, well, that was filmed with a brand new 3D process that eliminates the need for 3D glasses at all. How cool is that? Now, if that technology catches on, I'm sure we're going to see a huge new trend in 3D movies. Pretty cool stuff, huh? <laughs> you know what? And if you're interested in like playing around with making 3D pictures out of your already taken pictures, you know, like on your phone, check out this website. I used it to make some of the photos that I used in the video today. It's so fun. It's totally free. It'll take whatever picture you have and it'll convert it into a 3D picture that you can view wearing your 3D glasses. Oh, it's so, so cool. <laughs> All right, so we're in the workshop. That means it's project time. Well, no Mondays with Mark would be complete without a project, right? Especially a Mondays with Mark in 3D. So we have an awesome 3D project for you. We're gonna make some artwork for our wall. Y'all know our, our, our new apartment here is well, pretty big. And uh, the living room probably is the biggest room in the entire place. Big, tall ceilings, and we have this wall it just, it needs something on it and something pretty large, you know, and that's what we're going to make today. So all the instructions and, and the materials and the colors and the dimensions and all that, I'm going to give you today uh, that will make exactly what I'm making today. But of course, you know what? You can switch it up to suit your needs just by changing the sizes and the colors. And it, well, you know what? Let's just get started, shall we? Here are the materials that we need. First off, we need three frames, and these are 12 by 36 by one inch empty canvas frames, and you can get them at any craft store or right online. And next, we need some branches. I got these right outside in the woods next to our apartment. And then other supplies are paint and i'm going with some bold colors here blue orange green and red and then we need some scissors or shears some permanent glue and our hot glue gun so the first thing we need to do is paint our frames. Ta-da! <laughs> so, okay, I did uh, one frame in each color. I did red, green, and orange. You know, this project, oh my gosh, it is, it is part retro, part modern, really, really big burst of color, and, uh, totally rad in my opinion. <laughs> so the effect that we're going for is uh, we're going to, um, we want to have our branches cascading into all three frames, right? And we want to give it a 3D look to it, right? So the next part here, we are going to work with our branches. So let me get things set up and we'll take a look at how to do that, okay? All right, so I have my frames laid out in a row here, and I do have them upside down because we're going to be laying our branches on there, and I don't want it to, like, scratch up the paint at all, you know. So like I said before, we are looking for an effect that will take our branches, and it will... will uh, have them cascade from one frame to the next and to the next. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out our branches here into the kind of like a design uh, that we like. And we're going to want some of them, like these pieces here, we're going to have them still popping out of the frame like a 3D effect. So we're going to lay them out. And here, what I'm going to do is show you on this one here. Okay. So we're going to lay it out like so, like that. And then, if you, this is the frame here in the center. We'll move those out of the way. This is the frame here in the center. So we want this section from here to here 
of our branch, we are going to attach that inside our frame a little bit later. So in order to do that, we have to trim the branches to fit inside the frame. So to do that, you could use scissors or maybe a hand saw or Oh yeah, some garden pruning shears work just great for this project. For example, we're going to cut it right there like, like that. Okay, and then that will lay right up like that inside of our frame here. And then we'll cut the other side there and we'll attach it there. And then we'll just repeat, 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 repeat with all of our other branches until we have a little design that we like. Now, obviously, we cut it right there. So we want it to cascade into our next frame. So this piece, oh yeah, would be attached on that frame right there. Ooh, how cool. All right, I'm gonna work on this and then I'll let you know what it looks like in just a minute. So I laid out all my branches and I trimmed all the branches and this was the basic design I came up with. So now we paint the branches. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, I painted all my branches blue. Oh, I think this color combination is going to look nice. Oh, okay. So now our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to attach our branches to our frames, okay? Now to do that, we're going to use a combination of permanent glue and our glue gun too. The glue gun is going to, uh, you know, it's going to hold the branches in place like right away. And then the permanent glue, when it dries, will give it that extra um, extra support we need. So uh, I'll show you here. We'll do this branch here and I'll show you. So go there. We're going to do our permanent glue on either end here. Because remember, we're, you know, we have to glue them to both sides. And my anchor on this side is this little branch here. So we got that. And then hot glue, baby. Hot glue. There. And over here. Perfect. All right. Oh, I got some glue there. Okay. And then we're just going to put it in place like so. There and there. And then we're just going to kind of hold that in place uh, until it dries. You can even use an extra little uh, branch here for support. Put it underneath if you want there to hold. But it only, you know, you only hold it for like 10, 15 seconds. And then, of course, repeat, 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 repeat with all the rest of our branches. Ta-da! Again! <laughs> all right, so they're all attached. Um on our frames here. Of course, it's really, I know it's hard to see there, but oh, I love the colors, y'all. I think it's going to look really, really awesome. So, um, of course, I guess the, uh, I guess the true determining factor here is how it looks on the wall, right? <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to look pretty good. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're just going to clean them up a little bit. You know, I'm probably going to have some hot glue uh, strands and uh, maybe, I don't know, you might need a little touch up on paint here or there. And you can absolutely use your spray paint for touch up paint. Just spray some in a little like disposable bowl, you know, like Tupperware that you want to throw away or something. Spray, 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 spray. Keep it covered and then you can use a brush to touch up things. Then you'll have exactly the same color, you know, for like things like this. You can't just spray paint it, but uh, uh, for a touch up, that's how you would do that. So we're going to get these all cleaned up. We're going to go hang them up and then um, we'll do a little reveal. How about that? Okay. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? I hung them up. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. You ready? You ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, you know what? I kind of like how it looks. Let's see here. I think I'm going to have to, yeah, I have to lower that. Well, but anyway, anyway, that is our project, our 3D color pop project for today. Oh, I hope you liked it.
what'd you think? Whoop, did you? I, I do like how it turned out. I do. And it, you know what? It might, I, it may have looked like pretty involved to do, but it wasn't. Once I got into the swing of it, like putting the branches on and the, I, it was easy. It was really easy to do. And it really looks cool. And I think, um, you know, it, it, it's suitable all year long. I, you know, I think it looks good like that. And like I said, you can just, you can make it, you can customize it to yourself. Like you can change the colors. Like, wouldn't it look awesome doing it like black and white? Like the frames white and the branches black or vice versa, or maybe even do a color scheme of some sort or a gradation or so. I don't know. I think there's a lot you could do with that. So I hope you enjoyed it. You know, I'm having so much fun tonight. Oh, I hope you are too. Y'all, we have so, we have a lot of fun stuff planned for this whole week. I hope we get to it all. I really do. We're going to do another Mark versus Steve. Oh, those are always fun. I'm hoping to redeem myself. So far, I have not won a Mark versus Steve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this time, we're doing vintage desserts. Oh, I think it's going to be fun. And, oh, and like I said earlier, too, we are running a giveaway, too, for Retro Week. It's so cool. You have an opportunity to win um, gift packs, and the gift packs in them have, like, well, there's some gift cards, Starbucks gift card, the Grand Paris has a has an Amazon gift card in it too, and then SSAM uh, swag in there, t-shirts and buttons and keychains, and then a bunch of retro stuff too, candle holders and uh, these like like for example, these are aluminum cups retrofied they're so awesome there's a set of four of them uh, each winner will get a set of these two and the grand prize the grand prize gets the all of that in the amazon gift card gets the lava lamp too pretty cool prizes so there'll be two winners for it and uh oh yes very, very interactive here because we're asking you to send us in a picture well here 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 check it out Guys, it is Retro Week on Smokey Stephen Mark. And we have an epic giveaway. Oh, yes, we do, but we're going to put you to work to enter. We need you to send us a photo of you retrofied. I think maybe like a high school yearbook photo, the ones with the big hair. Oh, yeah. Or how about a vintage wedding photo? Mm, or maybe you dressed up some kind of retro for Halloween this past year. Oh, yes. Or heck, why don't you dress up again and snap a picture and send it in? Anything goes! So what did they win? I'm glad you asked. We're gonna have two prizes, y'all. So the runner-up will win an SSAM retro gift pack packed full of fun stuff. Candles, stickers, keychains, and our brand new, yet to be revealed, SSAM t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna throw in a $10 Starbucks gift card too so you can get yourself a cup of coffee. There you go. <laughs> and the grand prize, mm -hmm. well the grand prize gets all of that stuff. And we sweetened the pot just a little bit. We're throwing a $20 Amazon gift card in there. <gasps> and your very own. I am so jealous. I'm jealous too. I've always wanted one. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so much fun. So get those photos in, y'all. You have until Saturday, August the 19th to get those photos in. And then we're going to put them all into a really cute video montage for the finale of Retro Week. Good luck, okay, everybody. Mama. Pretty good giveaway, huh? <laughs> totally rad, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, definitely. I, I'm really excited to see your pictures. We got a few in already. They're so cool. A um, couple from the 80s with the big hair. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we did get one uh, vintage wedding photo, which looks... it. Oh, it's so cool. I love those old... You know, I always loved things... Um, 
really anything vintage, anything retro. I've always, always loved that, that, that type of thing. And, you know, Stephen and I were talking the other day, like, what constitutes retro and what constitutes vintage, right? Because for me, like, I think most people, when you say retro, you immediately think of the 80s. I, I don't know. I mean, I do. I don't know. I think a lot of people do. Um, but, like, what's vintage? Would that be the 40s? Or is retro something that, like, was in style and then came back in style? Uh, I don't, not really, I'm not really sure. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Oh, we've got a discussion starting. I don't know. I just know that I love all things retro. <laughs> so retro week is, like, my favorite week on Spooky Stephen Mark. Well, I don't know. There's Spooky Stephen Mark, too. That's another favorite. Oh, my goodness. I am rambling, rambling on, right? But seriously, hey, if you liked, you know, some of the stuff I did today and if you're into vintage and retro things I came across this awesome website that um, I think you might enjoy it's homemade dessert recipes.com and the guy's name is Paul who who you know put it together and runs it in that and he shares all of his mother's and his grandmother's um, old vintage recipes on there with pictures and stuff but there's so much more too. A lot of the um, the 3D like information and pictures and stuff I found on his website, and he has like stories like from his childhood and d different like picture. I don't. It's just it's a really really fun website to see. So I, don't know, I thought you might enjoy it too. So you know if you want to check it out, that's it there. And um, we'll put all the information down in the description, all the links we use tonight, and we'll put all the contest. Uh, uh, you know, the giveaway, we'll put all of that information down in the description too. And um, all of the templates that we used for like the projects tonight, definitely check out um, our social medias because I'll put uh, some, you know, downloadable free screenshot, whatever you want to do. I'll put all the templates over there for you too, okay? So, all right, all right, I think I really, I, yeah, I think we're, we're, I hope this, I hope we're not at like 5 million hours long tonight, <laughs> but I have to say I had a great time tonight, and I hope you did too. Thank you so, so much for spending time with me on this, our first, first, first night for Retro Week, y'all. <laughs> all right, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you know when we have a new video coming out. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, slash X. I don't know. I got nothing. And Instagram. And all of our contact information is listed right down below. Our, our P.O. box and, um... Our email address too if you have any questions you comment below or shoot me an email and i'll get back to you okay thank you again everybody do have a fantastic week in 3d and i'll see you next time ciao everybody Mwah.